When I joined this department back in January, it was not too long thereafter that I heard that we had a wonderful piece of sculpture that was in storage because its previous location had been taken over as a parking lot. I am so thrilled to have it back where it should be on our front lawn here marking this wonderful place on Jones Street. Jim Gallucci has done what he does so well. He has interpreted through his vision, in this case, an, a sculpture called Vale, interpreting the valley between the mountains. And we can all see that. It's just been installed for a matter of days and already people are talking about the wonderful sculpture on Jones Street. It's already being used as a destination point to tell people where they need to go. It's sparking discussion. It's enlivening people's lives. I have to say, I pass it every day. And as I told Jim earlier, each day that I have seen it, it gives me a little uplift to that moment in time when I see it and it, trans it transposes me to the beautiful mountains that I love. But it also reminds me of this talented and generous man who is the sculpture of this beautiful piece. This piece of sculpture came into the state's possession as part of the Arts and State Buildings program back in the 1980s. From 19, um, I believe about 1989 to 1995, we had over 61 projects. During that time, one half of 1% of all new state construction was dedicated to public art. Jim's sculpture was the first outdoor sculpture purchased for a state building. So it's number one in everyone's book, Jim. Thank you, thank you. You may not know, and you should, if you have been down to the new Raleigh Center Plaza, Jim is the sculpture for those four magnificent steel light towers, the oak leaf light towers. They are an incredible presence. They really are a signature location for the city of Raleigh. And I hope that Jim will tell you a little bit about how this project is so directly connected to that new $2.2 million project in downtown Raleigh. A project that Jim tells me he's employed over 200 people over the time from idea to fabrication to installation. Now we call that stimulus money. 200 jobs, is that not wonderful? On an everyday basis, one of the key messages that we have within the Department of Cultural Resources is how critical the creative economy is in the state of North Carolina. This is just one artist telling his story, but it's a story that's multiplied all across the state every single day. These artists contribute to our lives, they contribute to our economy, they create the kind of an environment, the kind of quality of life in the cities and towns from east to west where people want to live, where companies want to relocate and to grow. And our creative community is vital in the state and vital to ensuring that we are ready to meet the excitement and the needs and the growth of this state as we move forward. I want to tell you that not only do I have great respect for Jim Gallucci as a sculptor, but I also would share with you that I have such great respect for him as an individual. He is a dedicated, caring, giving individual who's vitally engaged in his local community, and that community stretches pretty far, I might add. He's also a wonderful example of someone who has made it someone who's reached a pinnacle of success in his field, who is constantly reaching back and pulling others along. And that's the kind of example that I think we all want to be in whatever field we're in. I'm delighted to call Jim my friend. I'm delighted to call him the sculptor of this magnificent piece. And for those of you who might be wondering, 
back in February or so when I found out we had the sculpture and we started talking about how we could get it reinstalled, out of storage and reinstalled, you know that we didn't have the money to do that because whatever dollars we had were being spent on the basic necessities in our department. I happened to run into Jim and I said, Jim, I understand we have a piece of your sculpture that's in storage. And it may have been the tear in my eye, I'm not quite sure. It might have been when I went down on my knee, I'm not quite sure. But frankly, without asking, Jim said, because I said, I want to figure out how to do this. And Jim said, Linda, I will refurbish the piece and I will pay to reinstall it. That is my gift to the state and to the department. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Let me bring Jim up and share some of his thoughts with us. 